Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Rancho Kitchen. I am Rosie O'Kelly, standing next to my lovely Fisher Paykel five burner oven with a uh, convection feature to it. And I love convection ovens because the circulation allows things to cook very easily. Hello, uh, we got the Sheba Queen out there and Bunny Cha Cha. Thanks for stopping in uh, today. One of the things that, one of the products that people at home attempt to bake with varying degrees of success are baguettes, the French baguettes. Now, if you've been to Paris, as I have, you've seen the long breadsticks that people carry on their back of their bicycles. They put them into pouches. You see these long, they're about 16 inches long sometimes two feet long, these very long breadsticks. They're called baguettes, and they're the signature bread of France. Now, according to French law, the only way that you can make a baguette is similar to the way Mexico protects tequila, the United States protects bourbon. There are certain things that are indigenous. The French protect their baguettes. And a baguette is typically made with four ingredients. Flour, yeast, salt, and water. Nothing more. Four ingredients. Hi, I'm no, who's that? I'm not nice. Try me. <laughs> there you go, sweetie. I'm sure you're probably the nicest, nicest person on uh, YouTube. But thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming in today. Um, so, you know, it's very strict. It's a little looser than it used to be, but it used to be by regulation because the French wanted everybody to be able to have the same type of bread to have the uniformity of it. So everywhere, hi, Vanessa, how are you doing, my beautiful UK gal? So when you, oh, uh, thank you, honey. <laughs> I haven't even done anything yet, and I'm not nice. Uh, thank you, try me, hit the uh, super chat. So hold those donations. If you like what you see later, you know, a little cup of coffee or a candy bar, that's something good. You know, I, I freak out sometimes when, People give uh, monster do monster donations, but we're going to have fun today. And these are the kind of thing I don't encourage people to do that type of thing. But if they do, it's fine. Just saying, this is a cup of coffee. Hi, Poplar. Nice to see you. You know, it's like, hey, you're doing a good thing. It's a cup of coffee. And I never do it on my adult content streams. My sexy uh, space girl from Planet Trip Wax, because that's strictly entertainment, right? It's just me entertaining. Come in here, you're actually producing content that people can enjoy for years to come on YouTube and hopefully make a good product. So French baguettes are the real signature bread of France. They're long, they're skinny, they're crunchy, at least initially the first day, and then the crust begins to soften. But they're a very tasty product. And the reason there is a tasty product is because it's a two-day process. The night before in France, when they shut down the bakeries for the night, the last thing they do is what they make what's called a polish. And they'll scale this up to whatever size they need to be. They'll take a half a cup of water and they'll take uh, they'll take a uh, half a cup. I think it's, let me just double check. I'm going to be precise with this because there's a pretty standard recipe. They make what's called a starter polish. And it makes a very wet dough that... Uh, it rises overnight. You have to take half a cup of cold water, not warm, one sixteenth of a teaspoon of active dry yeast or inch, uh, instant yeast. One sixteenth of a teaspoon, a microscopic amount. Why? Because they want it to ferment and rise very slowly. And they're going to mix that with one cup of bread flour. And all-purpose flour works pretty good, but if you have the bread flour, it's made from a high-protein wheat, so it has more gluten in it, it has more elasticity, it has more rise to it, and it makes a more flavorful dough. It's what they use for pizza dough and things like It has a chewiness to it, as opposed to cake flour, which is really not chewy at all. It's a very fine product. So what they do is, what you do is, you take that Polish, P-O-O-L-I-S-H, Polish, but add an extra O, and you put that on your counter and you mix that up with the, you mix that up and you cover that. And you let that sit 
overnight. And what that does is that ferments a little bit. Hey, Nicole. Yeah, how you doing, honey? Nice to see you. What that does is that ferments. And in that fermentation process builds flavor. It's going to be a very wet dough. You come back the next, and because you added a small amount of yeast, it's going to do that very slowly, and it's going to allow that dough to ferment. And that's a critical thing. Yeah, I'm doing good. We had a great day uh, here, Nicole. Very busy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hi, Linda Francie. Nice to see you. So I started that last night to make that. Hey, uh, De Delicia, Mickey. Hey, thank you. I welcome you. Hey, Sean. Nice to see you. One of my uh, California pals there. Sky Carl. There we go. How you doing, Carl? Always in my thoughts and prayers, Carl, these days. Carl, awesome to see you. You've got a video in my feed. I'm going to be uh, checking it out. But, uh, I'm going to try to stay on task today and make sure this doesn't turn into a, a kind of an off-target thing. So now it's the next day. You come and you unwrap your polish, and to that you're going to add uh, another one and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast, or you could use the regular yeast. And then uh, you're going to add a cup and two tablespoons of warm water to it, then three and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons of salt. And you're going to start to work to that together as a dough. It's going to be a little, little wetter than you're used to working on. Okay. Because French bread, the baguettes, if you slice one, and never slice it across wise, you always slice it on an angle. <clears throat> they always have a lot of, you'll always see holes in them. And that's holes where expansion and carbon dioxide builds, and it creates those holes. Hey, silly mom, nice to see you. And uh, welcome to all of you. We got that live. We're gonna hopefully have a lot of people enjoy this, if not today. People enjoy these streams during the week. And I love to do things real time so there's no mystery. So now you're going to let that dough rise as I did all day here, right in the bowl, after I mixed in the, the fresh flour, salt, water, and yeast the next day. This is already doubled in size today because I couldn't take, I couldn't run a hang ass stream for 14 hours and do it real time. So I started the night before to have this ready to go. So. It's already risen nicely. We're going to be punching that down. I've already, your oven should be preheating an hour before, at least an hour before you're going to put it into the, you're going to put your bread in the oven. Yeah, I've been rising all week. That's right, Nicole. <laughs> you want to make sure your oven's good and hot and uh, even. And uh, I'm lucky mine has a, has a fan in it. It makes it uh, convection. So we've got that ready to go. And the next thing we want to do, we want to shape this down. And sometimes some, some of these will have multiple rises. We're going to punch this down and we're going to let this rise one more time. It should be twice as fast as, you know, it should be about 40 minutes or so. Uh, exactly how long before you cook it can you prepare the dough? You should start the evening before with, with one cup of, with uh, a half a cup of water, one cup of flour, and one sixteenth of a teaspoon of yeast. Put that in, mix it well. It's going to be very wet. Cover it, let it sit overnight. It's going to be bubbly, foamy the next morning. It's going to have a lot of flavor to it. It's going to, it's going to have fermented. Hey, Krista, nice to see you. It's going to have fermented. And that fermentation is going to give great flavor. Okay? That's why you want to start the night before if you can. Then the next day you add your three and a half cups of additional flour, your other, yeah, let's see, okay. I want to make sure I got this, I should keep this open here. Yes, a one, yeah, three and a half cups, additional cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of salt, and I put one full tablespoon of salt. And you want to add all that starter in from the night before, that foolish. And then you want to add one cup plus two tablespoons of lukewarm water. You start to knead that together, and you let that uh, you let that rise. So you let that rise and turn over. Yeah, so I'm just uh, 
just double checking here. Yeah, so it should be pretty good. Okay, so sometimes they'll turn it, they'll do it multiple times to add a little bit of uh, volume to it. So I'm going to move this down here. I'm going to move this out. I have had uh, one of the things that you can get in a store that's very useful is called a bench scraper. And this is what you use. And you should get used to it. If you have granite, granite's a great count. It's a great surface to work on. Okay, very nice surface to work on. You're also going to need a sharp knife. You're going to need a spray bottle. These things are really good to have. Just They sell them in stores, just empty drug stores, empty spray bottles. And you're going to need an oven-safe pan, like a skillet or something like that. And while the oven's heating and things are rising, you want to take your skillet and you want to put it on the bottom of the oven. Be very careful because later you're going to be putting two cups of ice cubes in there. That allows that pan, that skillet, to become superheated. So when you go to put the ice cubes in, guess what's going to happen? They're going to create steam. The steam's going to slow the formation of the crust, and it's going to allow it to expand to its full volume, the baguettes. Okay, so very critical that you introduce steam. And you give them a good spray. I give them a little egg wash, too, on top of them before they, uh, before they go in. It helps darken them up a little bit. Hi, Ontario Chick. Nice to see you, honey. Honey, you're looking at somebody that worked for the Royal Bank of Canada. Okay? Yeah, that's the difference between good bread and great bread, Carl, is some of these things you need to have the maximum oven spring that you can get. And to get that oven spring, you've got to have You've got to make sure that the dough is retarded from or slowed down from making a crust as much and as long as possible. And having that steam keeps that crust from uh, forming and allows expansion. So I'll turn this out. You should minimize your use of flour, too. A lot of people slop the flour all over. You want to try to just keep it as minimal as possible on the surface, okay? Your dough should already be relatively non-stick, okay? Oh, thank you, Ontario Chick. Yeah, we made a nice, uh, what they call a French bowl. I can turn that out right on the counter there. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow this to make a second rise before we shape the baguettes. Now, that gives us time to socialize here. We've got a lot of heat on the oven. Notice the way I'm forming underneath. I'm moving my hands underneath that. And I'm creating a big bowl with surface tension there, just like that. So, all right, we're going to let that rise a bit. I like to do two rises because, uh, honestly, it, I think it gives more flavor and it's more, more structure to it. And then we can talk a while. We let this rise for a half hour or so and, and then we're ready to shape the baguettes and let them rise a little bit so it's going to be about a three it's probably going to be about a three hour process and when you add the work the night before you're probably looking at 17 hours 17 to 18 hours but if you start early you're going to have much more flavor like that okay i love to i love to bake Ontario chick, it's wonderful. It's relaxing, and you get you get better over time. And as you get better, you get more. Yeah, triple six. We're just uh, we're doing a standard baking today, clothes. Okay, we give people the uh, fun. To, this Friday night, teeny weeny bikini baking. We will be making chocolate eclairs. Okay, chocolate eclairs. That's the nice uh, chocolate pastries. It have the cream filling in them, and they have the chocolate on top of them. So, by request, we're going to be making chocolate eclairs beginning 9 p.m. on the West Coast. Uh, yeah, you, yeah. Carl says I've thrown water in before and put out my pilot flames. I really like the hot pan trick. It is a great trick. Uh, trick. Sean, hope you're doing okay. Uh, up there, Sean is a uh, transplant from London. Uh, and moved over here. So by putting that skillet into the oven, 
you don't have to worry about putting out your pilot light. That skill is going to get really hot because we're going to blast these. You guys are going to be shocked. I'm going to blast these. These books tell you bake them at 300, 500 degrees. I'm going to bake, I'm going to blast these at 800 degrees. I'm going to blast these at 800 degrees for five to 10 minutes here. Okay. That heat is going to hit that dough like a freight train, and it's going to create all that oven spring. That bread's going to be rising in there as those yeasts go crazy in one last orgy of excitement and explosion before it's game over, and the heat gets too intense, and the crust begins to form on that. So, yeah. Hey, I'm here. Nice to see you, honey. Thanks for coming by. So very important, very important tri uh, tips for making the uh, for making the bread there. So it's a really good idea to do that. Uh, now, if your if your oven, most ovens are only going to go up to about 500 degrees. That's fine. The rule for me is, and I did a I did a baking hack, two hacks in one minute on the Mosey Murphy channel over there last week. Bake it on the highest setting that you can get for that initial five to ten minutes. You got to kind of monitor. You got to keep the door closed, and don't sure as hell don't look before about seven or eight minutes. But you're going to have a lot of oven spring and a lot of rise. Hey, misdemeanor, nice to see you. Love these names. These uh, which community are you from, misdemeanor? Are you from the beauty, the drama community? There's so many new people that have. Uh, so many new people that have come over. It's been amazing. Yeah, I know. I'm always peeking, but the baguettes, yeah, baguettes, you've got to just kind of take it easy. They're a very long and thin bread. My hope and his nine brothers were bakers in Germany. It takes a lot of dedication to be a baker. You know, you're, you're going to you're gonna work some long days. Yay, Rosie's making bread. I said, yay, Cassidy Anthony's here. How you doing, honey? Yeah, we're making baguettes today. We're making baguettes. Hey, meet me, making dinner. There you go, making dinner, honey. Yeah, I'm going to drop off some baguettes at your place. So glad to see you. Uh, glad to see you, honey. We've got a lot of new people that have come over from the uh, from the community. You came over from the MGTOW. <laughs> Men going their own way. <laughs> uh, I make Portuguese sweet bread Easter. That's great. Portuguese baking is unbelievable. Judge Jenny in the house. I love uh, I love Portuguese uh, uh, bread. It's amazing. Hey sissy, nice to see you, honey. Oh, you're making sausage peppers and panetto spaghetti. It's just what I man. That tastes. That's that smells good. Okay, Nicole, take it easy, honey. Glad to see you. Uh, yeah, so a lot of people have come over from the uh, communities, and it's wonderful. I'm one, I'm one that likes to do goofy stuff. You know, you saw the video today, uh, Rosie Sorority Brat. I like to have fun on YouTube. But also like to, I also like to try to create content that people can enjoy for years and follow along in real time, whether it's doing metal detecting, whether it's restoring vintage audio equipment, or uh, projects here on the rancho, all of those all those how-to things are really great. How to stabilize a fence that's that's leaning or weakening because of wet weather and, uh, and too much water. Coopy, coopy, <laughs> baguettes. That's it. Oh, thanks, Mr. Manor. You're awesome. Well, you know, you guys can be a lot of different streams. You probably at any one time. Oh, a rabbit for dinner. Awesome. Acorn squash and rice. Wow. <laughs> Cassidy, you're 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 living the dream girl, aren't you? But you could you guys could be in all kinds of uh, streams and you spend time with me here and that's wonderful. And a lot of people will, you know, I'm not I'm not a very dramatic person. I'm not you know, going to turn up the fire like whiskey. I mean, I can't. I mean, it takes a lot to get me uh, flamed up. But I'm here for laughing and good times. And, uh, you know, like I said, if if I've succeeded in my job on YouTube, if you look at my channel and you're putting your party list together, 
and you're thinking to yourself, man, I gotta have Rosie in my party. Love you forever. <laughs> I, I know beautiful. I'm an old crow. Uh, oh, you're definitely welcome here. Absolutely, misdemeanor. Big Cho, men going their own way. We used to say, uh, we used to joke and say, you know, Mig Toes for the guys that have kind of had it that uh, they either can't get a date <laughs> or their wives or girlfriends have kicked them to the curb, right? So they create this group, Mig Toe, men going their own way. And we call it men grabbing their own wieners. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call Big Joe on the void, right? Men grabbing their own wieners. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Welcome to Big Toe. Welcome to Big Toe. We don't have to let that rise all the way, but that'll rise very rapidly on there. Um. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. This we got some excellent cooks, and you know, some uh, some of you gals have written me some recipes, and uh, asked me to thanks me me. Some have asked to make. Uh, oh no, cupcake! This is my wonderful friend Cupcake Zinger for years. Uh, OG boy over here. She battles. Um, she has to get. Um, um, you know, to get the uh, dialysis and all that. So, God. Okay, honey. I'm keeping my fingers crossed, and I'm going to remember you in my prayers as will Jen. We love Cupcake Zinger. So, yep, Cupcake is a really wonderful gal. Um, seaweed soup. So, Ontario Chick, what is your – I'm going to ask the ladies here because we have predominantly ladies here. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's something going on. I'm glad, well, I'm not glad you're in the hospital, but I'm glad you're not trying heroic stuff at home. So, but I wanted to ask the late, okay, Tribe, well, Tribe blocked me because I actually, I went in and mentioned something about Amanda's, you know, Amanda's get, Brian's getting married, and he just went off. He just exploded. He blocked me out of the room. So, you know, I'll probably be blocked for a month, so I'll be on probation. Um... Yeah, absolutely, Cupcake. She's such a great person, Cupcake Singer. He's a wonderful sense of humor. She uploads some uh, videos and stuff. Chick, how you doing, Chick? Hmm? Yeah, I did. I snuck in a little uh, sexy uh, space girl from Planet Triple X. But uh, Friday night will be really something with the baking of the eclairs. Teeny, we need bikini midnight baking, chocolate eclairs. That should be good. Yeah, we're all sending good vibes. You know, if people ask me, what is your best dish that you cook? What would you ladies say? What would you say? I think I think the best dish that I cook is probably lasagna. Because I don't make it the traditional way. You know, I'll go get some of that Italian sausage. I'll open up the casings. And I'll mix that with the ground beef. And a little bit of Italian and really get a nice, nice uh, thing. Dave the Virtue, yes. I. Uh, why is it your business, Dave the Virtue Signor? Why a uh, thousand dollars? We're making now. Uh, asked me to do a review with a vending machine. Oh, that's funny as hell. That's funny. You see, yeah. Okay, sissy, fried chicken and potato salad. See now, fried chicken is intimidating to me. It is. Oh, okay. I'm here. Yeah, you says you have never only seen you baking bread, fried chicken and potato salad. That's an outstanding American combination. I'm cooking dinner, but still is. I'm interested because Ontario chick was talking about making Portuguese bread, and I'm wondering what her dish is that uh, what her signature dish would be. I just love a good lasagna, and when I can serve my own. Italian loaf with that, it makes it so much better. Meat Meep says, I do a nice stuffed chicken breast with mushroom white wine sauce with a rice pillow. That sounds outstanding. That sounds tremendous. That's That sounds like a beautiful thing to have a nice a nice white wine with that and sit down. Oh. 
That's awesome. I'm so fucking hungry. <laughs> triggered, triggered. <laughs> oh, your real tomato sauce, stuffed manicotti. Yeah, excellent. Excellent. I like to use our own sauce that we put up. For those of you who are new, you can see on the Rosie Murphy channel and the Rosie O'Kelly channel that we have made our own sauce from our own tomatoes. Beautiful red sauce. And I like to put up four to five gallons a year. It'll last all year. Some of it's shelf stable. We did the water bath. My friend taught me a little bit about making that safe. Hey, you just made a batch today. Um, Ontario said, Chick I said, my dish would be a roast beef with roasted root veggies and Yorkshire pudding and gravy. I'm a Canadian hubby is Portuguese. Yeah. I spent a lot of time in uh, in uh, Toronto, Young Street, and uh, just a beautiful, just one of the great cities in the world up there. And the people are about as friendly as people. Nobody, nobody dislikes Canadians. They're cool. No matter where they where you go, where are you from? USA. Where are you from? Canada. Come on in, bro. Have a seat. <laughs> so we did a live stream on that. We also did a live stream on uh, making applesauce from our own uh, from our own rancho apples here at Ravenstein Apples. I'd like to try Yorkshire turkey pudding too. I mean, it looks damn good. I follow this foodie called uh, <clears throat> called uh, Mark Weens, W I E N, Mark Ween on here. He's got two and a half million subscribers. All he does is eat around the world. You know, it's amazing, it's amazing stuff. Wow, Meat Meat's like, that's funny. I'm from Ontario, Canada, too, and my hubby's Portuguese. That's pretty coincidental. Portuguese cuisine is unreal, and the Portuguese breads and stuff, they're really tremendous. Nathan Smith, how are you, sweetie? We got our uh, bread rising a little bit. We're not going to rise it too much. We're going to start getting that shaped into, uh, shaped into baguettes and going into the oven. We're just taking it step by step. The fun thing about baking bread is you just take your time, and it's relaxing. You go on the internet, you chat with your friends, you know, while the bread's rising and stuff. You're still doing something productive. So you don't have that guilt of looking in on the latest drama sphere, you know. <laughs> the family comes home. What are we having for dinner tonight, honey? Um, yeah, there's some Campbell's soup on the... Yeah, get it off the shelf and heat it up. Shut up. I'm... <laughs> I'm in the drama sphere. Don't freaking bother me. Oh, Kitchener, yep. Yeah. Lisa, how are you, sweetie? Lisa says, in Arkansas, I would have to make you fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and white milk gravy and homemade peach cobbler with sweet tea. And it's a grand slam. That's a grand slam. Because I want to make a great... We're going to do it. You guys are going to help me. I'm going to make a great fried chicken. Next time we go fishing, the boss and Janet come over. We go on our deep sea fishing. I always make a nice dinner the night before. I would love to make fried chicken and blow them away because Janet's always bragging. Oh, my chicken's so good. And I'm rosy. I'm, I'm lapped you. You know, I'm four laps ahead of you. <laughs> <sighs> okay, me go make your dinner. Uh, thank you, Nathan Smith. Yeah, I saw my last video. It was called, what was it called? Sorority Brat Rosie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm driving to Arkansas. Lisa, why don't you throw me the damn recipe on that fried chicken girlfriend? Because, you know, in, in Maryland, you got Kentucky Fried Chicken and a lot of other places. They have Maryland Fried Chicken. Hey, this girl's journey. Nice to see you, sweetie. What a blast she is, this girl's journey. I love fried chicken. It's outstanding. Really outstanding. I love fried chicken. I just can't get a really super fried. Out on the West Coast, 
we're not the same. You know, I was raised in Maryland and, and Eastern Shore chicken on Maryland and stuff and sweet corn and steamed crabs. Woo! Love that. 3000 for food. Hello. Welcome to you. Okay. That's fine, Ontario chick. A <clears throat> couple more minutes. We're going to start shaping that. That's, we'll let it do its big rise. Here on the sheets, we're making baguettes. Oh, you're skinny, Nathan. You're skinny. Hey, whiskey, how you doing? I was, I was showering, and it was my guilty pleasure listening to uh, listen to whiskey over there. Right? I mean, when whiskey brings it, all the girls. <laughs> Hey, buddy, Cha-Cha, how are you? Yeah, nothing like Maryland crabs. We steam them. We don't boil them. They boil them over here. Oh, uh, that's good. 3,000 for food. I love watching people. It's one of my guilty pleasures is to watch cooking channels. There's uh, Tess, uh, Tess Cooks for You is one. Uh, thank you, Lori Green. Nice to see you. Yeah, I mean, now everybody's in this sexy space. Yeah. You know, I, I, I get a lot more guys for... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Laurie, nice to see you. Yeah, so uh, whiskey, whiskey was getting down today. Baguette bread with olive oil and sea salt is my grandson's favorite food. He's weird like that. Yeah, the baguette. You know, you can get in big trouble in France when you screw around making bread. And if you try to do it commercially, baking bread, there's very strict laws in France that govern the making and baking of, of, of bread. When you go to slash a baguette, do you know what the law says? Do you know what the legal requirement for slashing a baguette is? Do you know how many slashes you need on that? I'll let you guys I'll let you guys ponder on that. Yeah, whiskey's uh whiskey's an awesome guy. You're cooking tonight too, that's cool. So I'm gonna turn this out and uh, we're gonna start doing a little shaping here. Oh yeah, you can bake it oh my goodness, three thousand. Come on, Carlos. Come on. We're not doing that here. Really? We're trying to have a trolling free event here tonight. Right? And I'm gonna I'm gonna say something too. I'm gonna weigh in on this and I'm gonna do a separate video about this stuff about donating and all this. We went through the terrible Santa Rosa fires last year, the most destructive wildfires in US history. The costliest, the deadliest wildfires in US history. Think about this, wrap your head around this. In the space of six hours, six, 6,000, 6, homes burned to the ground in six hours. This city I'm in that's plagued with earthquakes and horrific fires was, was a crucible that night. That wind drove the fire from the northeast down over the hills of Napa County, right into Sonoma County, and right into the city of Santa Rosa. I kid you guys not. I'll show you this picture of what that sky looked like on October 10th of 2018. While we're killing time. And I'm going to make a point here about helping people out. I'm going to go to my Instagram. And if you guys want to see my Instagram, the link is on me, and I'm on Twitter, too. <clears throat> Just put Rosie O'Kelly in Instagram. I'm going to show you. That's that's what that sky looked like at six o'clock in the morning. The whole city was in flames. People dying, people people jumping in their swimming pools to try to save themselves. The fires were so bad. A husband in there in the pool holding his wife while she died, suffocating, no oxygen. And Whiskey OG went through the same damn thing. And I see J.K. Nocow, my friend I had dinner with, is he and his beautiful wife. The restaurant we ate at last year, the first time we met that met them burned to the ground. 
I mean, I always had this PTSD vision of this family of four, a, a husband, a wife, a boy and a girl, 14-year-old boy and a 12-year-old girl, running down the hill, the 14-year-old boy trips, and the fire is moving a football field every eight seconds, and that fire just overran that kid and just, just incinerated him. So when you talk about helping people, you know, and yeah, I helped Whiskey OG, and I was proud to help. He didn't ask for shit, okay? He didn't ask for shit. But I stepped up, and people were kind to me. They didn't give money, but they reached out, and we were packing up the van. We're grabbing what we can. The fire is raging our way. People are losing their minds. There's cut. You can only have a fire, but half of the fire equipment in the state of California was here. It was so bad. The cops, they, they were the first 12 hours, they weren't fighting fire. They're banging on people's doors trying to get them the hell out of the house. So when Whiskey OD, OG, you know, he didn't ask for shit, but you know, the safest thing for him to do was to get the hell out of near Whiskey Town up in NorCal and go to safety with his family. And he fucking did it. And I contacted him and I said, Whiskey, and I never wanted any thank you. I said, Whiskey, I'm sending you something to get a hotel to get the hell out of. It might help you a little bit, you know? That's what people do. And I'm gonna echo kind of like what, what, what Whiskey said about Carlos. And Carlos, I like you too. You've been funny as hell on my channel, okay? But I'm saying, some stuff, some stuff is really serious business. And you can't fault people for giving, and you can't fault people for being scared with not the resources that we have here. And it was nice for Whiskey to turn to this community, and people said, Whiskey, we love you, man. We love your fucking content. We love what you do. You do put a smile on my face every day. You're creative as fuck. And it's amazing. I've made some really bad donation choices over the years. Really bad. And I mean, I got my ass beat from pillar to post on that. But that's one that I got right. Okay. Let's bake some bread. All right. All right. <clears throat> I don't mean to stand up and go all crazy on that, but that's just the way I feel. You know, God, if we can't take care of each other, then we don't have, we, we don't have any idea of the golden rule, you know. But I'll tell you, if I ran into a big problem here, whiskey might be, you might be four hours away from me, but I'll tell you what, if I needed something, you better, you better bet your ass. He would be taking care of me. So we're going to try to make, we're going to, Cut this into four pieces here. Okay. Now in France, they're very strict about the size of the the size of the baguettes. Everything is very uniform. Okay. We're gonna get this into four even pieces here. Okay. That's it. That's why I love you, whiskey, because you got a you got a heart of gold. You got a damn heart of gold. And he's, I'm like you, man. I'm a free agent. I go where I like to chat. I enjoy hanging out at Dave's chat. I don't like every, I don't subscribe to all the shit that Dave talks. But do I enjoy hanging out there? Doesn't mean I endorse what Dave says. I'm just, I'm just a chat. Oh, I enjoy chat. So we're going to take this and then we're going to take our palm here and we're going to tighten this into. We're going to shake that into a ball. Yeah, that's it. You like big one, big ones. Because I'll tell you, if anybody in this community, if anybody in this community needed anything, you better bet your ass that uh, whiskey would be there to help. So, you know, I'm just asking you 3000 for food. I know it's Carlos. I'm just saying, you know, whiskey's got the band hammer, so 
No, I don't ban people for expressing an opinion, but I'm just saying. You know, I think whiskey was a very good bet. And he does content, too. Okay, well, I just wanted to say my piece about the fires and all that kind of stuff because it was very traumatic and it was very horrible for us. This is the most dangerous city in the world to live in. 1964, it was almost destroyed by a fire that came in the same path, same damn path, if you didn't have all the people living in the hills. 1964, they had students from the junior college up in the hills trying to fight the damn fire. Same path, 2000, 2017, horrendous. I woke up this morning. You can you can see my playlist down below on the channel page called The Great Santa Rosa Fire. I got nominated for the London International Film Festival, Independent Film Festival, for my video, The Great Santa Rosa Fire. And I couldn't say it if it wasn't true. And some of you look at some of those videos of the destruction and you'll think to yourself that you were in Hiroshima or something looking at a uh, nuke come out. So there's four. <clears throat> well, that's okay. You know, then, um, you know, what would you say about, uh, what would you say about other people? What would you say? I mean, stickers creates content. He was helped out. So, uh, Chick says, my crazy wild week in Paris back in 1989. I forget every day. What's the bread law in France? Bread law in France. Salt, flour, yeast, water. Four ingredients. And the law for the slashes is, if not by law, by custom, is no more or no less than five slashes on a loaf. Okay. Very interested. So, yeah, you can express an opinion. I get a lot more latitude. But uh, helping people out, I mean, I would guess is, I'd say maybe the American Red Cross is an e-bag or two under your definition, 3,000 for food. And I was proud to help out. I didn't give a donation to uh, stickers. He's, I've hired him to do some work to create a channel trailer for me because he's got skills. He's got skills. I just started baking uh, Sheba and just getting uh, – you know, just over time making mistakes and just uh, just getting better over time. And it's just a lot of fun. So we're going to take these and we're going to kind of stretch them out here into a rectangle. Okay, just stretch them into a rectangle. Then we're going to fold that into almost over all the way, but not all the way. We're going to seal that, okay? Then we're going to do it. We're going to pull it again into a rectangle. And then we're going to do the same thing lengthwise. Okay. This is going to create what's called surface tension for this. Okay. Yeah. Nathan Smith is on the way. That's it, Nathan. Now we're going to start rolling that out and try to roll from the center first. A lot of people just go for the edge. Okay, make sure it's squeezed in nice and everything's all like that. Okay, yeah, we have two pets, uh, Leanne. We have a uh, actually, we have one dog, we used to have two, but uh, he died. We have a uh, pug, pug mix here. His name's Georgie. You can give it a little spin. This is what they do in China, right? To lengthen dough, you see the, you see the noodle makers and things. Okay, and we're going to roll these out to about 14 inches, okay? Look at how nicely they're shaping out there, okay? How nice is that? All right, we let that, we let that stretch a little, let it rest a little bit if you want. Don't overstretch it. And look at how nice that is, okay? Domino is like our dog, too, Chick. That's exactly correct. His neighbor's dog loves to be here because, sadly, even with five children next door, the dog doesn't really got a lot, get a lot of attention. We pinch the ends, and we form them into like a triangle, okay? Not a triangle, but we want to make a point on them like a pyramid on the end, 
We want pointy ends. Uh, yeah, I learned Chinese before I went to work in uh, China because after Tiananmen Square, I was one of the first people, one of the first Westerners allowed back in China. And a lot of people think I work for the CIA or something over there. Okay. There is our beautiful baguettes. It's got, there's our first one. It's got a lot of nice spring tension to it. We're going to get our sheet out. I wish I had a bigger kitchen, Laurie, that's for sure. Okay, and I'm going to take a little bit of a spray. I like to buy the professional uh, pan release. You can get these at the restaurant supply store. Hey, mom of three boys. Beautiful. Hi, Mel. Thank you, baby. And mom of three boys. What an incredible story she has of her struggles. I had tears in my eyes today when I was looking at her stuff. Jesus. We get so caught up in our own world sometimes. I'm going to put the first one on the sheet. Okay. Just like so. All right. Yeah, we have an extra big oven. This is the, this is only, I think this is only a 12 by 17 inch sheet. This should fit in every oven. Yes, I have a I have a really big Fisher Paykel five burner stove here. Okay, in the middle of it, it's got the wok burner. Okay, it's a Fisher Paykel. All right, it's an expensive oven. It's a convection oven. Has a fan in it because I do a lot of baking. I love baking. All right. If you could try a new food, what would it be? Oh, man, what a great question. If I could try a new food, what would it be? What an excellent question. If I could try a new food, what would it be? I guess, uh, I guess some of the exotic. Some of the words, I guess, I guess African food. You know, I look at like Ethiopian food, Eritrean food, and I just, I don't know. I, I want to gag sometimes. It's just a, it's a cultural thing. I know. But, you know, you just see their sanitation is minimal and stuff. But, and everybody comes out of there and says, oh, man, that cuisine, that was really good. Where's the beer? Right? That's it. Hey Michelle, nice to see you. We stretch this into a nice triangle, a nice rectangle here. Stretch that out. It's got nice, see the elasticity of it. Very nice. Okay, then we fold it all the almost all the way over, like you're folding a sock, and then close down, seal that edge. Okay. All right. Okay, Nathan, take care. Hi Cheryl, how are you, sweetie? Yeah, horrible fires in British Columbia. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to stretch it out again. And this helps create tension that keeps the, uh, helps, it rise, helps it rise vertically instead of spreading out on the uh, on this sheet, okay? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to fold that over like that, and I'm going to seal the edge on that. Now I'm going to begin rolling that out, okay? I'm always glad when you stop by, Nathan. I'm always glad to see you. One of my oldest uh, dear, certainly he's a lot younger than I am, one of my dearest friends from Canada up there in uh, Toronto, been a friend of mine for years and years. And don't forget in China, right? You know how they make the noodle, right? Right, just like that, okay? Uh, thank you, Michelle. I'm glad that your bread came out great. Remember that high heat, spray it with the water. Give it a little bit of egg wash on top of it, and you're going to have bread that's going to blow people away. And if you start it the night before with this Polish from the night before we talked about, then you got something really good. Pinch the ends. You're kind of trying to roll them down to, you're trying to roll them down to a point. Okay, real baguettes are rolled to a point. Pinch the end. And then roll it, okay? Okay. 
might have a little thicker in one area than another, big deal. I mean, we're not perfect, right? Reward direction, not perfection, okay? So we're gonna put that on the sheet. First one's already starting to rise. We gotta make sure to uh, spray that. We don't want that to dry out, okay? A little spray, and I like to go to the uh, restaurant supply store and get professional products, okay? Leanne, oh, nice to meet you too, and bye, honey. Have a good rest of your evening, okay? All right, let's get, let's shake the next one. I'd actually like to cover these with a little bit of plastic, okay? Okay. Oh, uh, thank you. Everybody's like, Rosie, you have clothes on today. Hmm? Did you see my sorority brat, Rosie? Hmm? <laughs> uh, uh, we're going to be making noodles this winter, chick. We're going to be making noodles. Yeah. We'll start with a rectangle, okay? Then pull that bread over. Almost to the end, like that, like a smile, and then seal it, okay? Seal that real well, and then we're going to stretch that out again. Make sure that's sealed real good, okay? Then we're going to stretch that out again, okay? Yeah, this girl's journey, like, almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> oh, man, this girl's journey, you're awesome. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you, Mama. Three boys. It's like the uh, the ladies. I don't know. A lot of ladies dig these space girl too, but uh, you know, you can't always play the fool. That's for sure. And I do. So there it is. We just start shaping that out now. Rolling that. Okay. And we're just putting nice even pressure. Remember, you can also do this. Start, no, you're not banned here. Happy meal, no. All right, we just, you can shake that out like that too. All right. That also gets a nice, nice to see you happy. I got banned over tribes. Just for mentioning Brian was getting married. The tribe went off on me in a major way. So, never go into a chat on a Monday, I guess, or a Tuesday. Okay. All right. We're going to point the ends. Don't forget we need to point the ends on here. Okay. We want to get them to a point and sit it down and round that off just like that. Okay. That's it. That's it, Mama Three Boys. Don't tease me now or I'm going to have to come and get it in gear and come and see you. All right. We're going to round that down. Okay. All right, here we go. Put number three down here. And the trick is we want these to really rise nicely. This is where you got to be patient, okay? Don't they look nice? They look real nice on there. They're looking really sweet. But we got to let them rise real good, okay? I like Mama Three Boys uh, philosophy, baby. You've certainly been one of the bright spots of my life, Mom, with three boys. You're just an incredible person. Not only are you very beautiful, but uh, you can tell you just have a heart of gold. All right, there we go. Don't forget to keep your points on the end of them. Okay. Yeah, show us the uh, show the ends of that dough. I'm thinking uncut curve. There's the end of. You can see that it's it's shaped to a point. Yeah, I'm using the same standard bread recipe. Yeah, you make, but you do make what's called a Polish P O L P O O P. Think Polish with an extra O. Polish. One half cup of water, one sixteenth of a spoon of yeast, and one cup of flour. 
You mix that together the night before, that makes her foolish. You come in the next morning, you cover that at night, you wake up the next morning, that's all bubbly and dancing and lively. Then you go ahead and add three and a half more cups of flour to it, two teaspoons of salt, and I think a, a cup and two tablespoons of water to that. Okay, and then knead that together. It's going to be a wetter dough than you're used to working with, but you got to get used to working with wet dough. So, wetter, I should say. All right. Yeah, I described that at the very beginning. We're just stretching this out to a rectangle, right? Like so. I'm going to close it over to the end, like a smile. Okay, make sure you seal that really well. That's keeping that tension into it. So we don't want these to spread out. We want these to rise vertically. Mandy, nice to see you, honey. Yeah. Mandy's like, I don't think I've ever seen Rosie with clothes on. <laughs> Mandy's my secret squeeze. But I got to watch out for Mr. Mandy. Huh? All right, so we'll stretch this out. Hope you have a good night, sweetie, wherever you go. Okay, so we're stretching out the other way. We're going to do the same thing the other way now. Uh, yeah, give me a second, Dave. You always come in here, and you don't give me a chance. You have these. You have so many different accounts that you're going right now. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Dave's like comes in all right you're making a really nice sweet bread that's awesome so all right so we've got that uh, sealed up now we're now going to uh put that over this way lengthwise seal it down real good and then we're going to begin rolling it out again okay there you go yeah say hi to dave everybody uh, Hope your day is good. Uh, hope you had a good day today, Dave. Hope everybody on YouTube had a good day today. Seems a low drama day, which is nice. So see how that's just, uh, it's almost full size now. Don't forget to shape the ends. Pinch the ends, okay, so that they have a point, and then roll that to a point, okay, for real French baguettes, all right? The kind that Lacey Rocks used to enjoy over in Monte Carlo and Perry. There we go. Hi. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, we're making some uh, we're making some baguettes, Harvey. Nice to see you. Okay. Make sure everything's sealed up really well. And now we just have to be patient and we have to let these uh, let these rise. Okay. Uh, there we go. Four really nicely shaped. They don't all have to be the same size. I mean, gee, did you go to Paris and there's some baguettes that are three feet long? So, really? Okay, don't cover it too tightly. You don't want it to be too hot where it's rising or else it'll kill the yeast. Okay. Believe it or not, I'm already heating the oven up. So make sure to put an iron skillet in the bottom while you preheat your oven, okay? Because you're going to be putting ice cubes into that, all right? Got that all, all covered there. All right, there they go. We're going to let them approximately double in size, okay? Shouldn't take too long since the dough has been handled so much. Uh, okay, go take care of that. No, it's not the, it's not Mama Bear stove. <laughs> I, I got to be careful. Dave will set up some uh, GoPro. Okay, take care. I'm here. You can always check back and forward to the end when the uh, when the live stream ends, and you can watch and see how it all turned out. Uh, Well, you know, Dave's like, did you pocket Mama Bear's money? 
I'm gonna wash this bowl real quick. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, whiskey was in here a while ago. Yeah, that's it, Harvey. I guess so. I don't know. One of my fondest memories of Paris was seeing people ride their bicycles. They would have those side carriers. And you would see baguettes everywhere going down the street. Everybody would have them. Hi, Ozzy. Okay, take care. You take care, my friend. Ozzy off grid, a wonderful person that I met recently over Debbie Davis's and Tracy Plains, the uh, Nuthouse live stream. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to let them rise real good. Real well. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a look at the stove. It's a well warm stove. This is a, a Fisher Paykel. It's a five burner stove. And I've already got it preheated for an hour. <laughs> it's two hours of sleep, yeah. Up at, uh, up at about five today. There we go. So there's the oven. There, I have an iron, cast iron skillet. I also have a baking stone that I'll sit the sheet on top of. You need a lot of heat released into it. And there's a skillet, okay? We're going to be putting two cups of ice cubes in there when we go to bake our bread, okay? Yeah, that stove was expensive as hell. That's my my guilty pleasure. Yeah, Fleischmann's baking yeast. Um, yeah, Sam, we use... Um, Today I'm using the, um, that's what I'm using. <clears throat> okay. Fleischmann's, but I also like this for moonshining. When we make, uh, when we run moonshine, this is what we use, Red Star. Okay. Red Star yeast is also excellent for baking. Okay. I think that's a French, yeah. Well, this is made in Mexico, but uh, yeah. Oh, you're watching Mash and Rosie. Yeah, I can't tell you. I've, I've been watching, uh, enjoying your uploads of, um, um, you know, well, Streets of San Francisco and Dragnet. Did you see my comment? Did you see my comment, Dave? I couldn't believe Dragnet had a pilot from like 1951 or something. Crazy. You must have the wrong date or something. Yeah, Alan Alda. Misdemeanor says, Rosie, I will be over to install my stove and take yours. <laughs> That's it. Hey, Callie Rose, how you doing, sweetie? So what we're doing now is we're allowing our baguettes to really start to uh well we want them to really probably like double in size here on the sheet so we're getting some heat from down in the oven on top okay love this because it has the wok burner like uh we had leftover beef sunday night tri tip so i made a i made some rice and then <clears throat> i guess it was last night i made um I made uh, beef fried rice last night. I have a wok, so. Uh, yep, feeling fresh as a daisy. <laughs> Dave's like, I know you're on crack. <laughs> Ain't nobody human could do that. Uh, the show is 1950. He was partnered with uh, but when it, Okay, all right. Yeah, I love Dragnet, too. Uh, Michelle says, Rosie, I ran a batch of shine the other day. It was a five-gallon still. Is, is four-quart jars about right? Yeah. You don't even need four-quart jars. You're going to get you're gonna get a yield of about, if you're on homemade, you're going to get a yield of about 6%, 6 to 8%. To on our best days, we got 10% yield, which would on a 25-gallon still would be two 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 gallons 
eight quarts and then some heads and some tails. So we got 10 quarts of products, one quart of heads, two, ten, uh, one, one quart of heads, eight quarts of hearts, and two, one or two quarts of tails we'd run on that. So, oh, my teeth. Don't even talk about my fucking teeth. Jeez. Huh? <laughs> They're not too bad. They're all mine. Okay, nice to see you, Sean, as usual. I really enjoyed your appearance on Dave's uh, panel yesterday. Don't be a stranger. I mean, you're really cool. Yeah, I figure if you can get a 10% yield, you're doing good. Um, Chick says, I love the uh, spiel in the beginning of Dragnet. Dum, da -dum, dum, dum. The story you were about to see is true. It takes place in the city of Los Angeles. <laughs> Mama three boys. Bye, Sean. Call you later. Yeah. See, Mama three boys just broke my heart. Vanessa, welcome back, honey. We're letting our... Uh, these are rising really nicely now, our baguettes. We can enjoy every day we want to have one. We just take it out of the freezer, and it'll it'll keep good for a week or so. Be really nice. <laughs> I wasn't crunching ice. I'm now going to crunch ice. That's the thing that Dave, that's the first thing Dave bitched about me back in December was, Ice crunch, crunch, crunching ice. Oh, that's good. I've never lost anything. I've lost two. Uh, I lost. Uh, I pulled two wisdom teeth because they were starting to crowd here, kind of getting that West Virginia look. How do you make and eat all those breads? Um, side chat. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I'm very high energy. And I'm always doing projects and stuff like that. And I like being a little bit on the, uh, a little bit of what I call the fluffy side. Because I'm going to have to have this fat pulled off the side and put into my butt in uh, January. So, ah, uh, that's bad manners. Um, Jen likes to enjoy it. <laughs> Fucking Dave. I'm gonna get a seat. Right. Once more, I'll give you a look. You can already tell these have. Um, These have already gained significantly in size here. So we don't want to make sure that the, the, the plastic wrap is not tight on top. We don't want these to expand out sideways. We want them to rise upward. That's why we shape them the way we do with that so that surface tension. I was just watching other two that watch guys come up, but you some YouTubers are questionable. Well, you know, Vanessa, you gotta make up your mind here. You know, I've been here so many years now. Five in January 3rd will be six years on YouTube. And um, you tend to start following the same, like, you know, all the people on Boy at the bottom of YouTube, I follow all of them. Plus, you know, I follow some people that do eating around the world and, and all that. Um, you talk about some, some of the sailing channels, a lot of the RV channels. Um, yeah, I'm very careful what I do with my money. So, like I said, I, was, I had a little thing about Whiskey OG. I'm going to say something for tomorrow about compassion on YouTube and why it's a nice thing sometimes. to. You know, sometimes you have to err on the side of believing and taking your chances. Yeah, you get screwed sometimes, but... Uh, <laughs> Cute, Dave. 
Uh, let's see, that's funny. We <laughs> uh, back to some. Okay, Harvey, thank you. The last two hours we kept up with you. You're sitting. You I know I'm sitting. I'm taking it easy. Oh, oh, okay. Now that I knew you didn't mean me, right? But I just know that you, uh, yeah. I mean, sometimes you know, people have unstuffed me. That we've had some fights and stuff. Thank you, Michelle. You have different people watch me. I have people that follow me. They only watch the metal detecting videos. I have a huge group of people that all they watch is the vintage audio restoration. Um, projects other people just want to see cooking other people just want to see you know sexy teasing and uh, those type of things and other people want to see just travel videos and, and other people want to see restaurant reviews so it's a lot of other people want to see construction projects and projects on the rancho and some people want to see moonshine on the rancho. so it's a whole broad range of uh, people so Savage live, there she is. Hi, baby doll. <laughs> I have to say, Savage live, without a doubt, is one of the most colorful people on uh, on YouTube. <clears throat> Honey, you, I was I was binge watching your videos uh, last night. You're you're something else. <laughs> Gal's got it going on, man. <laughs> I'm doing good. We're just uh, we're making some baguettes today, some French baguettes. So we're now letting them rise. Um, yeah, put that Philco in the oven, right, Carl? Hey, Carl, are you going to do an update on uh, what's going on with your health? You know, a lot of us uh, we worry about you. So. Yeah, I'd say Savage Live. Honey, you're kind of, in case you didn't know it, you're like a legend. <laughs> Every chat I go to, they're talking about, they're talking about, like, they're either talking about Dave, they're talking about Little Rosie, or they're talking about Whiskey. They're talking about the Savage Live. Or Diane P sixty one or something. Okay, good, Carl. <laughs> yeah, I was checking out. I was watching your biddies. Um, Sad. You're a lot of fun. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to be on your your hit list though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it'd be a bad, a bad day, and bad day on YouTube would be like, "Hey, Rosie, you know, you really pissed off. You really pissed off Savage last night. You be coming your way, baby." <laughs> so I, I have to avoid that at all costs. <laughs> ah, shit. Um. Yeah, you're a sweetheart. I mean, it's just like, it's you, uh, you know, I got uh, fired Calypso. I mean, I wouldn't cross her. Uh, yeah, thanks, Cal. He says, I really enjoy how you can uh, be proper when sitting in a skirt, then just have fun later in the bikini. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, honey. Just try to keep my ladies clothes. I'm about, okay, chick. Go take care of your tomatoes and stuff. We're making bread, baby. We're letting that rise off real good. Letting some of that heat. I've got the oven at about the 500. I'm now going to take that up to a full 800 degrees. My oven goes up to 800. We can almost make steel in this thing. Okay. I'm taking it all the way up to uh, all the way up to 800 degrees. All right. While we let this go, about 15 more minutes or so, we're going to get this ready. I want a lot of this heat from the oven to help these rise off. Okay. And if they're not perfectly shaped, some of these bulge out a little bit. It's okay. No. 
stretch them out a little bit. Maybe all good. Maybe all good. All right. Yeah, I've been just uh, carefully feeling my way through the drama and beauty communities on here. You know, seems like you can really you can really screw yourself up if you're not careful. You know, it's frightening. I mean, I, I always thought Floyd Floyd's bottom YouTube is tough. I mean, if people will do shit here in real life and stuff, but uh, I don't know if they do that on you know the beauty community and stuff. But it's tough. Sam, how are you? You're a really strong oven. Well, you can see the videos where we installed it. It was a two-day, it was a two-day project. There's the uh, there's the oven hood we put in. Two-day project. And there's our wonderful Fisher Paykel five burner stove. Done so much cooking and baking. How you doing, Sam? And this is convection here, so it has the fan in it. That's really nice. Yeah, I think that I think that turned out good. So, got our fan. It looks nice, doesn't it, with the uh, granite and everything? We need to get our cabinets on the side. We need to get our, our additional cabinets. Okay, yeah, it's a power range. I'm doing good, Sam. I'm doing good, honey. Hope you're doing good. We're just uh, kind of hanging out. I was, just, I was chewing the fat with Savage here. I was saying her uh, her reputation definitely precedes her. That's for darn sure. So, yeah, these are rising. Can you tell that these have risen a lot now? They certainly look a lot bigger. We just want to really take our time because we don't want to rush this part of the process. Now, if you have to go, I understand that. People got to go eat dinner. You can always go forward at the end of the hangout. Meanwhile, I just sit and enjoy the company of friends. That's the fun of bacon. These things are really good. Like I told you, they're called bench scrapers for working with dough and things. They're awesome. That. You need to have a spray bottle, too, an atomizer for spraying your bread before it goes into the oven. You need to put an iron skillet on either a rack of your oven or on the bottom of the oven. Hey, Debbie. And then you're going to add two cups of ice cubes when we go to put this bread in the oven. That is going to create steam. And that steam is going to allow for a rapid expansion of the bread. And it will keep the crust from forming a wall so it reaches its full maximum potential. You're not making sandwich bread here, okay? We're making baguettes. All right. It's all about technique, technique, technique. Okay. I'm just turning that around so that they can enjoy a little heat. They don't all have to be perfectly shaped. You can see here I have one that's a little, got a little bulge here. It doesn't matter. They're not supposed to be perfect. Okay. Some are a little shorter and longer than others. All right. It's all good in the hood. How is Debbie Davis doing, huh? How is my beautiful friend from Louisiana doing? Hmm? Shreveport, Louisiana. <laughs> Callie Rose, you're too cute. Yeah, so. Oh, wow. Mel says, I've, I've actually never eaten. Now, I've never ever tasted or eaten a baguette. Interesting. Yeah, I need a uh, great hubby that she can that can spoil rotten, right? Or 
one of you gals from the beauty and drama team. Right? I mean, Boyd is like slim pickings. <laughs> I mean, honestly, ladies, you've seen Boyd. Would you want those guys on Boyd? Right? Mom, meet Frankie from the Boyd. Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure, Mel. They're supposed to be a pretty standard size. You know, these have been rising for about 20 minutes. I never do, Sheba. I never care with you. know, people enjoy me. I go out in public. I can raise my voice very high. I have no problem passing. Thank you very much. How are you today? I turn it on when I need to, but in my own home. I didn't want to transition and lose. I wanted to keep some part of myself. Besides, as Mama Bear would say, my tally whacker. <laughs> Thank you, Sheba. That was awful sweet. You know, people come and go. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I had, you know, I've had bitter problems on Boyd back in 2015. You know, wearing bikinis and, you know, it's caused a lot of trouble. Not from YouTube, but from people. You were cooking a new Instapot recipe, Korean barbecue chicken, Sharon. I'm so fucking hungry. Don't talk about other food, please. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Missy Jen. Yeah, these are looking real good. Yeah, I think about uh, 15 more minutes and look at how the volume has grown on these, huh? Hey, berries. <laughs> How you doing, Jalen? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to remember this. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sharon. Thank you. I like, to, I like to pair this with a little bit of uh, gold. That is uh, Missy Jen. That's Missy Jen. Roscoe, how are you, sweetie? Nice to see you. Yeah, we're getting close to action time here. These are really looking good. Do not rush this last rise, okay? Or you're cheating yourself of a beautiful baguette mama bear. <laughs> I got to see if that's the real mama bear. Hold on a minute. Mama bear, I've had some, uh, if that's you, honey, welcome to you. I got to check and see. Let me see if that's mama bear. Go to channel. Go to channel. I got to make sure that's the real genuine article. Yep, there it is. There's mama bear. Nice to see you, mama bear. <laughs> I'm gonna put a wrench in your hand so nobody can uh, nobody can beat you around here. So, all right, you're welcome to uh, stay. I just enjoy everybody's company here. So you have a wrench, Mama Bear. Just don't. The only thing I ask is just be easy. Hey, Tide, how are you? Nice to see you. There's one of my premier wrench holders, Tide and Dixie. So, Mama Bear, how are you today? I didn't know if you had a hang. I've been awful busy. We're uh, we're baking up some baguettes here. Roll tide, roll. Yep, yeah, there we go. We're letting them rise real good. And I hope uh, I hope Becca unblocked me on the uh, Rosie O'Kelly channel, Mama Bear. That'd be nice. I hope she's doing good today too. I have to get one of her tie dye shirts. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, how's that looking, Dan? Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Wrench holding. Mama Bear whiskey's here. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mama Bear. There they are. Mama Bear said they're looking good. Did you try on that bikini, Mama Bear? No. <clears throat> thank you for unblocking there. So appreciate it. Thank you, Callie. I, I kind of like it. It's a nice casual look. 
Oh, thank you, Todd. Everybody's like, Rosie, you got clothes on, right? <laughs> um, they're like, Rosie, you know, you got clothes on today. Did you did you slip on the way to get dressed this morning? <laughs> I love making Mama Bear laugh, you know. I want Mama Bear to go back to doing what Mama Bear did, making people laugh, you know, and doing uh, doing the Mama Bear thing, you know, and take the junior cubs, all of his cubs, on a honey raiding party somewhere. Right. <laughs> Mama Bear. We don't have any enemies over here. This is like Switzerland. Everybody's welcome. Mama Bear, just think of this chat as like Switzerland, like you have a Swiss bank account, secret little bank account at Union Bank in Switzerland, and you come over the border and just party with Whiskey and Rosie, everybody. Then you go back, and it's like, God, I hate this fucking this one. <laughs> hey, Ellie, how are you? Nice to see you. Yeah, it's very small, Mama Bear. That's what I said, honey. I mean, you're uh, you're uh, – you know, beautiful woman, big, you know, so I don't wear the bottom. It's too small. So nice to see you, Ellie. Very nice to see you. Thank you, Therese. Therese and Michelle here. And I'm sure, Teresa, with a name like Michelle, you've probably had a lot of baguettes in your time, huh? Yeah, Mom, Bear, that's supposed to be like a one-size-fits-all, honey. But uh, I didn't want to do anything that would embarrass you on, uh, you know, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to have any problem with anybody. So, but I, I gave it in the spirit of that uh, it was intended. So, uh, see, Rebecca says, Rosie, I have a friend in Alabama that looks like, that y'all look alike. Good pass for sisters. There we go. Mm -hmm. Teresa, no, no, you're French, right? Michaud is a French name. Right. Yeah, Mama Bear knows that uh, Junior Cub in training and Rosie, there's no, there's no ill intent on my part, just to have fun. I haven't got my, I haven't got my collar and set from Dollar Tree. Huh? I am a French new, new fine bread is like there we go, Sheba Queen. Oh, Michelle means nearly hot. Okay, almost hot. Okay, yeah. I don't know. Okay. I'm from Baltimore originally. Uh, where, but there are too many. You know, that's what I'm saying, Mom Bear. You don't want to. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I kind of thought you could just enjoy the top or something like that in the privacy of your own home and without doing a YouTube uh, video. I would never want to see it in, in any kind of, you know, people making sport of it and all that. I wouldn't enjoy that at all. I feel real bad about that. So. <laughs> I got the oven heating up real good. It's almost baking time. I run it all the way up to 800 degrees. I run it hot, just like they do in Paris. Okay, they just run those hot ovens all freaking day. All right, there's Jen. Let's say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Missy Jen's on an undercover mission. <laughs> right, honey? I was working in the orchard watering, and now cupcakes in the hospital. What happened? With her dialysis, she felt like there were daggers in her. So there's something going on. So let's remember her in our thoughts and prayers. Okay. Well, we will keep you in our prayers. Cupcake, okay. we love you. Okay, and there's whiskey OG. Huh? We were enjoying a little whiskey on uh, whiskey. Nice, what would we call that? Whiskey on a roll today. That's what we got. That's it. Yeah. We don't get many haters in here, Mom Bear. We just have fun. It's kind of like uh, kind of like when you're on a roll. Yeah, I, cupcake. I we love you. Yeah. I'm just. We I'm, love you dearly. Yeah, I'm glad that you're. I didn't want to say it sounds stupid. So I'm glad you're in the hospital, but I'm glad that she went to the hospital instead of doing something stupid like Rosie would do and you know going out to the workshop and trying and surgery or something. Rosie tried to cure herself. So okay. 
So drink hot chocolate or something and say, oh, this fits the set or something. Yeah, because I'll tell you all one thing. If I go, if you all take me to the ER in an ambulance and they said that's, you know, if you go through the door of the ER, it's going to be $5,000 just to roll in there. I'm just going to just let me fucking die on the door then, okay? <laughs> yeah, this is this is my garden working working in the garden. That's the lovely Missy Jen. Missy Jen is the caretaker of the ranch over here. When I'm traveling, it's Missy Jen's. She well, she runs it. Yes, Rosie girl has got the big idea. That's right. Keep on subscribing and thumbs and ups and. Uh, no, yeah, and thanks, Lindsay. And comments yeah. and everything, and recommend and share the videos. And you want to go, hey, Misty. Yeah, the space, uh, the space girl from Planet Triple X has taken off hugely. And also we got Jimmy Swagger visiting Jimmy Swagger Ministries down in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. That's going bad. That's going bad shit crazy right now. Meeting Jimmy Swagger, you can enjoy seeing that. That's under the playlist called our 7,636 mile cross country journey in 17 days or something like that. Maybe. Comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Every video that you watch. Yeah, I'm just. I'm not one to talk about. You know, I don't talk about you know subs and. Views. I'm just here to have fun. Like I said, I'm just feeding an egg with a little spoon of milk here, so we get a little bit of an egg bar. Thank you, Sam. Yeah. And Sky Carl. How long is the bread? We're gonna. This bread is gonna end up sitting about ten more minutes, and this is where it's gonna get really busy now. Really busy. Thank you, Sam. Oh, thank you, Steve. You're sweet. We're just here to have fun. I ain't nobody on nothing. I don't got talent like whiskey and mama bear and all that. You can reach in with your hands a little bit if you want to shape them. I may actually transfer these onto. I just spread them a little bit so that they have room to expand. Doesn't really matter if they go into each other. I'm just kind of pushing it in from, you can see I'm kind of shaping that in from the sides. Okay. I'm preventing that from expanding too much. I want to give it room in the oven to expand. But they're looking really good right now. Really good. Okay. I'm very happy. So I'm trying to give them the maximum room that they can spread out here. Okay. Now they'll probably overrun the end of the. It's okay. It may not have to be perfect. All right. There they are. Okay. Some really nice baguettes. I really love doing uh, baguettes. Sue P. Uh, Art Bradwell, thank you, baby doll. I saw Sue. I think I saw Sue Pete in here, too. One of my dearest friends. <laughs> We're having this big. We're having this big raging argument now. <laughs> yeah, they use what do they call that, Ellie? The uh, love, not uh, I know the lame is what they use to put the slashes in, but uh, yeah, claws this, this down, separate. I just you know I do it. I do hillbill. I do it. I kind of do it hillbilly style here. So you know that's what, separate that a little bit. So we want them to get some vertical. Vertical rise. I'm going to turn this one upside down right there. You want to always make sure that the seam is seam is down. Yeah, it's a lamaze to score them. Uh, top chat, that's it. Yeah, well, Sam, you're you're quite the, uh, well, how would I put this? <laughs> Hellraiser. Yeah, Sue Pete, nice to see you, honey. That's one of our soup piece sent us some of this beautiful barbecue sauce. We had the Gates barbecue sauce. Next up is Fiorella Jack Stack barbecue from Kansas City. Love that. Now, you know, Sam, girl, we can be honest with each other. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> What's the difference? Truth teller, or Hellraiser, it's all good. It's a must watch video. Right? Uh, love my Sue Pete. She's wonderful. So we can, just a couple more minutes. I want to just keep, the, the more patient you can be here, the better the product is going to be. I don't want to overheat it though here on the stove. All right, can just cover them off for a couple more minutes. Okay, that'll be good to go. So we have our beaten egg here. Hey, Blinky, how are you, sweetie? We're making we're making uh, French French baguettes, honey. That's what's going on today. And Blinky's recovering from a terrible uh, stroke. She's uh, she's a OG boy. We're having this big raging argument about what, what makes OG boy. <laughs> and it's, if you were here in 2015 and you were, uh, you were involved in all of the, uh, all of the wars back then, then you're OG boy. Blinky was certainly here. Ellie was certainly here. <clears throat> I also have, uh, where the hell is my brush, Jen? I've got a pastry brush too. It's not even a paste, it's a hardware store. I got tired of shitty made pastry brushes, so I got a good one. Just went to the hardware store and got a nice blue hawk. It does a beautiful Jill. How you doing? It does a nice, beautiful job. Okay. All right. Making baguettes. All right, I'm gonna review this process. Oven, high heat. High heat. Get used to baking with high heat when you're making bread. Now, Ellie does a lot of baking. She might have a difference of opinion about that. You know, but my opinion is baking at extremely high heat for the first five to ten minutes does amazing things to create what's called oven spring or the ability for the bread to rise very rapidly before the crust sets in. Once the crust is formed, the bread's not going to rise anymore. Okay, it might rise a little more, but the crust is going to be set. You want to prevent that as long as possible. So you want to hit that with initial heat. Sit that right on the baking stone. The sheet's going to go right on the baking stone in there. As soon as that hits the oven, I'm going to have two cups of ice cubes. I already got a skillet in there that's heating up, a big iron skillet on the bottom. We're not going to put that bread in. I'm going to brush this with the egg wash that I made, one beaten egg with a tiny bit of milk here. I'm going to brush all that. I'm going to score them five slashes. I'm going to brush them again. I'm going to spray them with our spray bottle of water. And I'm going, yeah, there we go, Sam. And I'm going to put them into the oven along with the ice. Okay, and that's going to create steam in there, which is also going to retard or slow down the formation of the crust. And that's exactly what you want. You want the maximum maximum rise that we can get here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, Sam, do a baking video. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. Okay, don't. Don't do a rant on me. Oh, Rosie. You. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, OG. Right? Yeah, they call their girlfriend Sheila's. Huh? And mother's the old girl. All right. Well, I think that's probably, we can probably remove the foil now. Not the foil, but the plastic. Now I'm going to go ahead and brush these with the, uh, <laughs> yeah, the rice, that's, uh, that's it, Carl. The rice is the rise attenuator. That's it. That's exactly what it does. It attenuates the rise as long as possible. It's what we call an asymptotic mathematical function, not quite asymptotic, something that's progressing but never quite reaches the final point, right? Remember that from calculus and multivariable calculus, the integral of e to the x, okay? You should know that, right? You all are calculus geniuses. Okay. 
I've got uh, two cups of ice cubes right here ready to go. They're going to hit that hot skillet, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and give these an initial brush. Okay. Jen, you want to close that door? Uh, I've got that breeze coming in the door up my coochie there, so. As if, Rosie. <laughs> Yeah, I got the oven on eight. My oven is 800 degrees. I love to bake at very high heat. At least for the first, don't bake them. You'll destroy them. I'm going to modify that. They bake at high heat very early on. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead. I have a very sharp knife that I uh, um, just did a sharpening on this morning. They have a razor blade that's held in the holder. It's called a lame. I may have pronounced that correct. Correctly. Five slashes. That's the standard for a French baguette. Five slashes. One, two, three, four, five. One. Probably did a lousy job of spacing them. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five. Now what that's going to do is allow for expansion. That's going to allow for expansion there. Okay, when that hits the uh, oven, that's going to allow, instead of blowing a hole in it, it's going to allow it to expand there. So make sure you have some good slashes. Yeah, the French standard is always five. You'll have the bread police after you if you don't do the French way, okay? The French are very particular about stuff. Ellie will tell you for years the law was salt, flour, water, and yeast. Make sure my slashes are good. Okay. They all look pretty good to me. See all the slashes. Yeah, the bread police, Sam. I'm in serious business in France. Serious business. Ellie will tell you. Ellie is a premier baker and cook. Probably almost a chef level. All right, we're going to give one more brushing here. With the egg wash. Okay. And at the final 10 minutes or so of baking. You can also add it some more if you want. Okay, so that's ready to go. Now the real symphony begins. We've got to open the oven door, put this baking sheet on top of the breadstone in there. That's going to transfer a lot of heat to the bottom of it. Give a very rapid rise. Just before we put it in, we want to spray it with the atomizer, and we want to spray the walls of the oven, and we want to take a cup with two cups of uh, ice cubes in it and pour it into the skillet that's on the bottom of the oven floor here. Okay? So, <clears throat> if I can get a good place to good place to show that here. Might be able to see that. I'm not sure. But we're going to go ahead and pop this in. Take your time. This is dangerous. You're working with high heat here, okay? I'm spraying it with the water. Okay. I'm now going to pop this in. Putting it on top of the bread sheet. I immediately take my ice cubes. Drop them into the pan. That's creating a tremendous amount of heat right there. You ought to hear this. You ought to hear the sizzle of that. Okay. Do not open the oven door. Do not open the oven door. Okay. High heat. All right. Be patient. Now we're going to set our timer here. <laughs> this is not. This is. This is not that involved. This is just routine. Hey, Janie, how are you, sweetie pie? <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, my uh, friend Janie from Late Night with Nippy and Janie. That's the show that Berg's called into and Elvis and stuff, and then they. They they went limp. They couldn't take Janie, right? All of a sudden, she just called, oh, you know, they hung up and ran. Oh, that's not, that's that's boy, but it's not OG boy. <clears throat> Glad to see you, Janie. 
make sure to uh, sub. I'm one of the people I encourage people to come on if you're uh, my streams and stuff, my live streams, my channel. It's small. I don't have a lot of people come to the live streams and stuff. But if you want to promote your live stream, you want to promote a video or something like that, feel free. You know, tell people what you do. Tell people to sub you up. It's a great thing. This is just a spray bottle you can buy at like a drugstore. Empty. Just fill it with water. It's a very nice thing. I'm yakking and I'm not even turning on the... I can smell bread already. I'm going to go close the bedroom door because our smoke detector will go off. If you got a clear oven glass, you can kind of take a peek in. One, two. I gotta turn a light on. I can't see shit. I can hear that. I can hear those ice cubes steaming away. Steaming away. Sun is going down. Here it's still, what is it? Uh, four. 444. There's Jill. Gigi, don't play. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Spraying for the express shipping. Uh, uh, there's, uh, there's Jill. I've enjoyed hanging with you. Nice to see you today, Jill. I hope you're having a good day. Yeah, hope everybody's safe in the south. And also, I heard Japan had a 6.6 .6 earthquake. So I hope everybody's okay over there. Hope everybody's okay over there. Yeah, if you want to see Instagram, it's Rosie O'Kelly. It's on my front page. I do have Twitter. I'm still in the learning phase of Twitter. I mean, some of these... These chicks Twitter like there's no tomorrow, and I can't even tweet, right? They're Twittering, and I can't even tweet. Oh, I smell that. Smell that. Oh, yeah. They're hurricane. Oh, yeah, the hurricane. Oh, yeah, Jill. Always, honey. Good deal. You're uh you're a fun gal. You're a fun gal. And I'll never forget the courtesy you extended me to mom here. Real nice. All right. You kind of gotta resist taking a peek here, although this is a very thin bread. Just another minute or two, we'll be able to take a peek because we don't want it to deflate. Girls don't like it when things deflate, right? <clears throat> yeah, we got to, they're, they're talking about another hurricane out at sea that could hit the East Coast. So, what's the name of her hurricane Florence? I think there's a hurricane called Hurricane Florence. I'm going to have a little something to tide me over to dinner. It's pretty rough, Sue. I finished that with Dave about uh, 5, hit the road to Sack at about 7. So, did good, but you know, Rosie, the Energizer Bunny. Yeah, and Florence is coming. Oh, no central air. Move to California, Sam. We don't need central air. We don't need any air conditioning. Let's take a little bit of a peeky boo. Oh, man, they're looking good. Nope, we've got five more minutes. Let them keep going at high heat. I'm going to remove them. They should be partially set. I'm going to, well... I guess I'm not going to brush them again. I already put the egg wash aside, but uh, you could brush them for a second time. They're looking really good in there. They're looking really, really good. Really good. 
They've already risen about 50%. Okay, take care, Teresa. I'm very honored that you came by. Yeah, go to go take care of Mama Bear. You gotta have your priorities right. So Blinky, how are you doing, darling? Yeah, you just heard my Balmer accent. There's Bonnie Cha Cha. <laughs> Nobody ever loved that Balmer accent. Hey, hey man, how you doing today? You got you go you gonna be going to the Oriole game today, huh? I gotta wash my car first, man. I got shit I gotta do. I'm gonna go have some steam crabs. I'm gonna go down Bo Brooks on Blair Road and get me some steam crabs. That's it, Jordan Blue. It's always a ham fisted operation here. That's right. Everybody say ho to low to Jordan Blue boy. OG, original boy right there. So Yep, Blinky, original OG boy. OG boy right there. The shit Blinky seen over the years would make your hair stand on that. We're having this Blinky, we're having this big argument about what defines OG boy now. Oh, all Chicago and Boston accents. That's cool. That bread's enjoying that high heat. This stuff is good. You guys ever have Activa? It's good. I don't have any problems. I just enjoy it. Good for digestive health. Oh, wow, well, that's something, Blinky. Yeah, Blinky had a stroke and has uh, heightened emotions. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm eating the Jamie Lee Curtis uh, stuff. All right, now let's take a peek. Bring you all in here. We'll take a little peek here. Oh, look at how beautiful they're looking. Yay. Okay, hope you saw. We can't keep the door open long. Don't don't hate me. I'm gonna keep the heat up for five more minutes here. They seem to be liking that. Didn't they look gorgeous? Didn't they look beautiful? Gigi, what do you think, honey? Gigi like Rosie. Girlfriend. Send me one of those things, baby, and I will give you a night in paradise. <laughs> yeah, someone's at the door, Roscoe. I've had that before. Baking is a lot of fun. Baking is one of the greatest things that you can do because it's got a couple things. It gives you feedback of success or failure. You know, and failure is not a bad thing. It's not expensive to fail at baking unless you messed up a wedding cake or something like that, loading it into the van. It gives you a sense of satisfaction. It also gives you a sense of empowerment that you can do anything in the world if you just organize step by step and all that. Thank you, Carl. Thank you very much. Now, by now, all of that, all of that ice cubes have gone to steam. Yeah. Janie, what's your best dish? I'm curious what Janie's best dish is. I've been asking a couple people. We're on almost be two hours and ten minutes, but I'm curious. Everybody's been putting down, you know, if company's coming and you have to have a killer dish, maybe the boss is coming over. Yeah, the hillbilly Mexican Italian bacon show in the hood. Yeah, I bake a lot of cakes, Leanne. I've got a huge list of bikini baking and uh, naughty nighty baking. Oh, there's more baking videos between the Rosie Murphy channel and the Rosie O'Kelly channel. There's got to be a hundred baking videos. Everything from pineapple upside down cake to black and white cookies to you name it. It's all there. <sighs> All there. It's embarrassing how much shit I have on the town. Bean sprout. There's my girl. 
There's my beautiful Florida girl. I got all kinds of Janie makes killer pork and beans. <laughs> I love winter. You hear that asshole? I hear it all the time. Janie, I love soups and stews. We're going to be making a Brunswick stew uh, this fall. Our first cold, our first little cold snap in October, we're going to make a Brunswick stew. I bake every Friday night, teeny weeny bikini baking. Thank you, Ty, for reminding me. Um, teeny weeny bikini baking every Friday night. This Friday night, we're making chocolate eclairs. So make sure you take a nap. We don't even get underway until 9 p.m. on the West Coast. I don't want any kitties around. It's strictly adult, adult beverages, adult fun. Okay. All right. A lot of fun. The hell was that? George? Probably ate you like a sea chicken. George? You all right? Huh? You okay? You all right? There's George, our pub. You okay? Huh? You got a fur ball? You got a hair ball? George got a hairball. Yeah. All right, now they're looking. Now we're going to back the heat off to about uh, 350. Man, those things are looking dynamite. I'm going to keep it about 500. They're just looking dynamite. They're looking beautiful. And we're going to go about uh, maybe about six more minutes in there, okay? These don't have to cook too long. <sighs> hey, Coop. How you doing? Yeah, chili recipe. That's awesome. So I'll be trying to do all that. I make a very good uh, – I make a very good uh, – Chicken Brunswick stew like they make in uh, Williamsburg, Virginia. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a lot more cooking in the fall and winter and a lot more work in the workshop with vintage audio restoration. We have a 1968 Magnavox Astrosonic stereo console that we're about halfway through restoring. We're going to be picking up in, I think, October. We're going to be picking up. Koopy, how are you, sweetie? How are you? Yeah, it's a bowling ball, but it's also named, it came from Chowning's Tavern in uh, Williamsburg. Taco dip, and that's nice. Sam says, I always love my taco dip and fruit. Good. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice, uh, Janie. <laughs> You know, if anybody wants to post stuff about their uh, chats or their content, feel free to. I encourage success on my channel. I love it when people are successful. So I always, you know, the, the more success on YouTube, the better. So if you do a, if you do a chat or something like that, or you have a channel, you're a content creator, just let people know, you know. Wow. Brunswick is an inner city suburb of Melbourne. That's interesting. Very groovy place, huh? I'll tell you guys, these, these baguettes are going to blow you away. <laughs> hey, don't be hating on hot dogs. I do a lot of uh, stir fry when they're good produce. Yeah, you know the other night, Janie, I had leftover. Um, we had leftover uh, beef from a tri-tip. Hi, Vicky. Here's my uh, my girlfriend in waiting. We had uh, leftover tri-tip. I diced that up and made a uh, stir fry. I cooked up some rice, cooled it down in the refrigerator, and then stirred that up with some. Little oil, soy sauce, chopped up some carrots, put a little onion in there. It was absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think these baguettes, they look like they're about done. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna turn the oven off and open the door. Okay. They're small. There they are. Actually, they're much darker in person than they look. I don't think I'm going to put them a couple more minutes, actually. Let's give them a couple more minutes just to get good and crispy. They could be a little darker. You could actually, you could actually wash them with an egg again if you wanted to. We'll let them go about five more minutes. They yeah, look good. Now, I'm not going to brush them with butter. Uh, Janie, we used a egg wash the first time of beaten egg with, um, yeah, a beaten egg with a touch of a little bit of milk in it, and we brushed the top before we put them in. I may, uh, I may actually crack another egg. I shouldn't have dumped that egg out that I had. No, it's probably too late. I don't want to give them another one. I think one was a 20. Some people hit that multiple times in there, but I think it's good. We have that about five more minutes. Yeah, they look fantastic, Marsh. Yeah, there it is. Welcome to Baltimore. I've had... <laughs> funny. It's funny where you want to say, say, oh, Baltimore accent. There we go. As soon as I... I had a cop car. I said, I was, somebody came on the channel and comment on the videos. I've been a cop for 26 years in Baltimore. As soon as I heard you say wash, that was it. I'm going to go wash the car. In Baltimore, we just wash things, right? We, put, we fold our clothes. We put them in a bureau, right? We put our change on top of the bureau. We call the police. Everybody's a Han. How you doing, Han? Have a seat, Han. If you saw the movie Hairspray, you know everything you need to know about Baltimore. Okay, or the movie Diner. No. <laughs> Janie, you better investigate that. You have water. Water, right? I don't know how to say water, and it's orange. Some people say orange. My mouth doesn't even move that. Orange. You have to police spin on my block twice tonight, all right. There you go. We gonna go to the Oreos game. Yeah, John Waters. Yeah, we going to the Oreos game. I used to hang out across the street from the Charles Theater with uh, when he would be there premiering uh, Divine, Lust in the Dust, and all those great, uh, great classic movies. Yeah, John Waters. Y'all are too funny. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, I think that's another two minutes and we'll be all set. Rain and temperature drop. Wow, thank you. There we go. John Waters, yep. All right. I think that's definitely going to do it. We need not do any more. We have some really beautiful... Baguettes. Uh, yeah, much, very beautiful color. All right. We'll give you guys a good look see here. Yeah, flamingos, pink flamingos. Yeah. And there are the baguettes. Oh, uh, it smells amazing here. I know it's for dinner. It looked good. Nice and beautiful. They're not brown. They're not black on the bottom. They just, they turned out textbook beautiful. Didn't they? Here's your, here's your drone shot. Your 
eye your drone shot. <laughs> they look good. They turned out pretty good. Yeah, I have to say, that's the way a baguette should look. Okay. Yeah, that's the drone shot. That's it. We'll do that uh, flyover again. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna break new ground in kitchen cooking. <laughs> All right, there they are. You can see that they're they're small size too. They're little. There's a, a baguette should be small. And you see these all over Paris in the back of uh, bicycles and stuff. Okay, you can see where the seams, where those uh, slashes helped it. Really good. There you go. That's it, Janie. When you come visit us on the ranch, show, we'll do it. Janie, be on the road. Yeah, I got some spam. That's right, Koopy. Yeah, these are small. You know, I don't have a real big pan, so I could buy I could buy a 24 inch if I wanted to. So they're small, but the concept is made. So I want to thank you guys for being along today on a really nice baking adventure. Something a little different that uh, I think people will be able to enjoy. You not be confused with Demi Moore, the Demi baguette. Yeah. So, well. Yeah, there they are. We will enjoy them. We'll put them on the rack and uh, definitely enjoy them. Now, remember, when you serve a baguette, you never cut it across. You want to cut it on the bias. You want to cut it on the diagonal there. So you have a lot of surface. The people that eat baguettes, they want a lot of crust. Crust is flavor. The first day the crust will be crunchy, the next day it will be soft and chewy. So thank you, thank you guys. I really appreciate you being on the stream today. It was a lot of fun for me too. You guys make it fun, okay? You always do. And uh, the crust the best part. And um, yeah, honored to see Ellie in here and Coop. Um, yeah, awesome. All right, guys, thanks so much for being along. Thank you, Gigi, for coming in. Chick. Well, they got it. If you cut it open now, it's just going to look mushy, chick. These have got to totally cool down before they're they're eatable. Okay, and they're just too hot. They're still internally cooking in there. Okay. I'll tell you what. Maybe I'll make a. Uh, I'll do a thumbnail later for the hangout, and I'll cut one open, and we'll we'll show you the thumbnail. How about that? So. Okay, love you, Janie. Take care. I'll see you on the uh, late night with uh, Nippy and Janie, okay? Have a good one, everybody. Your thumbs up are appreciated. Thank you.